This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. A final wave of Bastrop County residents near Austin evacuated from fires that have been burning for more than a week were finally allowed back into their homes Thursday. The fire, which has burned about 34,000 acres in Bastrop County, is about 75% contained today. Officials have confirmed that 1,244 homes have been destroyed. A little good news, Aqua Water Supply Corporation has lifted a boil water notice for parts of Bastrop County. About $1.6 million in federal aid has been approved, most of which has been for housing. The Federal Emergency Management Agency reports 1,372 people have qualified for housing assistance. One person on a list of missing people remains missing. Friends of Steve Ingram have told officials that Ingram was possibly going to Arizona a few weeks ago, but his whereabouts have not been confirmed. Police say an East Texas homeowner has died after a tree that was being cut fell on him. Tyler police say Wednesday afternoon's death of 51-year-old Robert Nicholas Kemper Jr. appears to have been an accident. Investigators say Kemper and two employees were cutting a tree in his yard. The tree apparently became hung up on another tree as it fell. Police say the trio dislodged the cut tree, then Kemper accidentally fell to the ground and was crushed by the falling tree. Some San Antonio bars are installing machines aimed at keeping drunken patrons off the road. The AlkaBuddy machine allows patrons to blow into a disposable straw and test their blood alcohol level. If it's over the legal limit, the machine says so. A test cost $2. Bar owner Anthony Goodman just installed two of the machines. He says two bucks is nothing compared to the trouble of going to jail for a DWI. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.